When I am depressed, I think that I don't even uh, know how much sugar I'm eating. I think I just eat it. Although sugar appears to provide temporary relief from crisis for some individuals, it causes serious psychological problems for people with blood glucose disorders like diabetes and hypoglycemia. When I would wake up at night, I would be, be feel very anxious, very confused. And because of that, it made my blood sugar probably drop even more. I'd be, I'd be sweaty, I'd sweaty palms. I'd be sometimes wake up shaking violently, just shaking all over. The kinds of things we might expect to see would be impaired coping the individual has difficulty dealing with a situation they might otherwise take in stride. A modest disagreement between husband and wife becomes a cause for throwing pots and pans, possibly even for homicide. Um, a child who would ordinarily have no difficulty in coping with a mildly impatient uh, teacher now falls apart in class. Uh, there are scenes, tantrums, crying spells. Um, a modest amount of sibling rivalry it turns into a Donnybrook. In short, you get an exaggeration of some of the um, darker sides of human behavior. My behavior changed drastically. Um, I would become uh, very arrogant, very hostile, in rage, anger, um, very ang a lot of anxiety, just tremendous amount of anxiety, frustration. And my mood changes were radical. I go through mood swings in half hour intervals, sometimes hour, from feeling all right to feeling terribly depressed. I would um, become extremely anxious, uh, extremely irritable. There's a higher degree of depression, and often a depression which is difficult to treat. There are higher levels of anxiety, higher levels of irritability, higher levels of fatigue, impaired ability to concentrate. One of the worst things about the problem I was having with sugar was at any time, day or night, anywhere, any place, any time, I could just all of a sudden go crazy. In the medical literature, for approximately 70 years, there are significant references of cases, some of them horrendous crimes, committed by people who were clinically demonstrated to be under the influence of hypoglycemia. These individuals had very, very high sugar consumption diets. And what, would, what people were experiencing was a significant drop in that blood sugar level, so much so that most of these individuals are characterized as having a period of amnesia during the time that they commit their crime. Is there a connection between diet and crime? Criminal offenders are noted for their poor diets and high sugar consumption both in and out of prison. Alex Schaus, a former probation officer, believes that criminal behavior may be an indication of metabolic or biochemical imbalances. And we learned that the sugar consumption of the delinquent population was significantly higher than children who weren't breaking the law but also had emotional problems. The sugar consumption averaged anywhere from 36 to 47 teaspoons per day. And most of that sugar was hidden in the food. The children were not even aware that they were consuming this much sugar. Although the elimination of sugar from the diets of offenders might not be a panacea for deviant behavior, it often results in a dramatic change in criminal offenders. In a study that uh, was done in Ohio over a period of years, a probation officer reported to the United States Senate Select Committee in 1977 that when attention was given to diet, particularly the problem of hypoglycemia and high sugar consumption, that this probation officer, Barbara Reed, was able to significantly reduce the amount of rearrests on her caseload. She brought it down to 11%, and that's very important because the national average in the United States ranges from 25 to 80% of the offenders will come back within a year. During the course of this report, we've seen how the ingestion of sugar is related to many physical and mental illnesses, how it affects school children and criminal offenders, and how some people become hopelessly addicted to it. We were, at first, honestly skeptical. But everything we've learned while making this film has convinced us that the American people are eating far more sugar than is good for them. We were further convinced when we read this historic report, Dietary Goals for the United States, which was issued in 1977 by the U.S. Senate Select Committee 
on nutrition and human needs. One of the committee's recommendations was that Americans reduce their refined and processed sugar consumption by at least 45 percent. In July of 1979, the Surgeon General of the United States, the highest ranking medical professional in the country, issued this report entitled Healthy People. The Surgeon General urges Americans to eat less sugar. This recommendation represents an emerging consensus among scientists and the health community. The government, research scientists, and health professionals are all telling us that we could feel and be healthier if we ate more nutritious food and avoided sugar. On the horizon are new federal laws that may force food companies to clearly label each package with the exact sugar content. Consumers could then keep track of their sugar purchases and ingestion. But finally, it is up to you, the individual consumer, to evaluate the evidence and make a choice in the supermarket based on what is best for the health of your family. If sugar sales were to drop due to consumer pressure, the giant sugar growing and refining industry would not die. In Brazil and other countries, sugar is already being used to run automobiles. Sugar farmers can become energy farmers, growing a renewable fuel supply each year. Refineries can be modified to convert all or part of their sugar juice to alcohol, which, when mixed with gasoline, creates gasohol. There is no known physical or psychological requirement for eating sugar. No reputable medical authority will ever insist that sugar is necessary for anyone. And no health professional will ever say that a sugar-free diet is dangerous. The choice is up to you. We wish you good health. Just love sweet food Puts me in a nice sweet mood When I'm like that You will never find me rude I'm as sweet as can be I was told but that sugar makes me kind of bold A sugar blues Everybody singing the sugar blues The whole town's ringing I love my coffee, I love my tea But the doggone cream turned sour on Lay me down and die You can say what you choose But I'm all confused I got no sweet, sweet sugar blues or more sugar I got no sweet, sweet sugar blues 